got to thinking earlier this year that it might be kind of fun to take some of my favorite old calls out of my collection and hunt with them. At the same time, that didn't really sound like the greatest idea, but I thought it'd be pretty cool because you just think, I mean, they were made to, to call ducks and even though they're old, that's what they were built for, so they're, they're made to take the view. It's a hen, ain't it? I have to say it's going to be my first hunt with a metal reed anyway. Surely this dude's going to do it. What a good shot. This is uh, by one of my favorite duck call makers, Charles Perdue from Henry, Illinois. Uh, one of the reasons why I like him so much is uh, to me, like, he really embodies, I guess, being a folk artist to me. His whole family was, their living was made around duck hunting. Um, they had a gun shop, his son ran for a while. He built boats, made decoys, made duck calls. His wife painted some of the duck calls on the decoys. So, I mean, to me, that just embodies what uh, a duck call maker or, or wildlife folk artist is all about. You know, growing up, I've always been a collector of, of something anyway, whether it was duck calls, baseball cards, or whatever. And growing up in Stuttgart and just being, I guess, submerged in a uh, duck hunting culture and duck calls and the calling contest, that really got my interest into duck calls. It's pretty wild to think that this call's almost 100 years old. A little creepy and cool at the same time. Sorry about his luck. This call it's really probably a standard model call. It was uh, called the Illinois River Duck Calls, made out of red cedar. Uh, it's probably started making them early 1900s, so I'm guessing this one's probably made in, in the 20s or 30s, maybe. And that's probably a little conservative, but um, very popular duck call. It's a metal reed. I can remember the first time I saw a duck call made by Charles Perdue. Um, his early calls and even his carved calls, they just it really just struck something with me because they weren't a perfect call, but they were so folky and whimsical, I guess is what you'd say. And it was just a sign of a true art. And uh, once I saw that first call of his, I was just hooked. Ziggy. Well, <clears throat> that was fun. It was kind of a cool deal, neat deal to bring that call out here and think it, it was made over 100 years ago and we got to use it today to fool another limit of ducks. So it was a good time. I mean, I, like I said, I tinkered with it a little bit to get it where I could blow it. Um, still not so sure that uh, I got it mastered as far as the metal reads, but. It definitely worked, and that's what it was built for, is to call ducks and get them in. Today was proof of that.